as you see right here, I've got this uh, rotation gauge on here. Uh, now this is a combo set that we sell because um, you can take this off and you know use it different ways uh, to find angles. Um, and then this is a clamp on part. So uh, there's a nice magnet on here, stick it on there. This is a really nice uh, kind of dial indicator here. Um, I already have it set uh, right at zero. So the reason I have this on here Obviously the tube is straight at the moment. So the reason I have this on here is so once I get through this first bend and it swings around, we're gonna flip the tube over uh, 180 degrees end to end and we're gonna bend the bend that's right here. So then we'll have basically, uh, we'll have a straight, a 90, a, a short straight section here and then another 90. So um, like I said, bend this one first, flip it over. And so we'll flip it over make sure that this is back at zero. So now I'm gonna flip this over and because I marked these lines all the way around, we'll line it right back up and bend the next one. I'm gonna put a little more pressure on here, see where we're at on our dial, which we are about one degree, so I'll go ahead and give this a little pull down. Get back to our same number. Verify one more time that we're at zero, which I think we might have moved a hair, which is normal. Give a little bit of up on that. Check it again, and I say we're pretty good. So we're there now. The tube dropped a little bit down when I did that. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of tweak in here just to make sure. And there we are at the 0.35 with it up a little bit this way. So this way we are completely level this way with the die this way. Now I can set my rotation gauge on here, so I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna explain what I'm gonna do here. I'm actually gonna put this on upside down and I'll explain why. So get this on here, find that zero mark. Because we leveled the tube out, we can now find our zero, which is right there. All right, so the rotation gauge is tight. It's zeroed out. We need to rotate this tube in order to get the right bend. What I'm gonna do now that I zeroed this out, I had already clamped that to, to say that this was would be okay if I'm bending it. But before I bend that, I need to rotate this tube 221 degrees. So I'm gonna back this off and we're gonna go over. Now we're, you know, we meet, we meet that zero mark again, so we went 180. Now we're gonna go down. So we're gonna slide this down even further. All right, there's our nice 42 degree bend there. Now, this is what I was saying. See, you can see the profile. Now that bend is going out and down away from the center line of this uh, what is going to be the center line of the frame. So, and now we are, let's see, 180. Eh. All right. Now, you can see how that bottom bend has now kicked us back straight with this bend here. So we're here, down, and then kicking back straight. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, and this will be the top tube to the frame of the rear of the car. 